All right. What's up, y'all? We got a stream. We got God of War. If you didn't see last night's stream, then this will come to you as a surprise, a shock. I actually don't know what this area is. That's why there's a pause there. <laughs> but I'm here now. Uh, as you see in the title, we got Leangelo Ball. Why is he getting no burn in year two? It's just a conversational piece because I don't have the answer. Stay away from those cages. Wonder why they're locked up. I actually don't even fuck I remember. Oops, and uh, I'm just after two minutes. Okay. Can't even see myself in the mirror. Well, yeah, uh, uh, I think that he can be. Like, for example, right? Lavar Ball gives the reasons of them being the best. But he also displays and speaks on the different, different attributes they can add to winning. Which, overall, makes them the best in their role. And that's how he speaks on it. And I wish that people could understand what the hell he's talking about. They do, though. It's just that they they like to be contrarians to his thought process, and I'm against people being facetious. Because when he speaks, it's not wrong. And when he's talking about the children, I have. All right, bro. I thought I was reading something real, but that shit was poop. All right, I, I think I have to go down or up, whatever this does. Let's see. Be ready. What? Oh, of course. You should just let me it? come in. Exactly. Hope it was worth it. He should just let me come through. Do what I had to do. But instead, he chose death. Oh, and look, I'm, I'm not gonna, bro. His name is Zanman. There's not a chance on this planet Earth I'm gonna type in Zanman on the phone. It's just not reasonable. Yeah, I knew I knew something's off here, so more than likely I'm gonna have to uh Yeah, probably go to the other side. No, it's not even open. Alright, I guess I got another I got another riddle on my hands that I have to figure out. Wait, wait, I didn't even go down here. Hold on. Oh my. So what is the chance of them being on teams? This is what you wanted. Goodbye. Chop apart like a damn fly. Oh wow, I missed.
Look at him getting combo. Damn. Goodbye. Let my son get a couple bodies, bruh. Bro, I'm not listening to Zan, man, though. Let's make that clear. It's like, it's... It's like not a human purpose I can find to listen to people less than Drake. You know what I'm saying? Like, let, let's keep it real. We're at a point now. Well, he, he's he's the best in his role. The thing is, when when you break down their abilities, and let's say let's let's use a Lavar Ball, right? Even though uh, people love the shit on him these days, right? When he speaks about each of them being best. And talking about what they can do he's speaking from the aspect of their roles and what they provide to the outcome of winning oh can I do that hold on let's see nigga where are you bro look at him uh, he's speaking in, in the roles that they play right so when you have somebody and let's put it like this their IQ is all the same they all make the same passes the, uh, the same ball movement the same understanding of winning when you need or when you put someone who can give you 30 points in a high volume shot attempts uh, and contribute to winning, he is the best in that role. When you have someone like, let's say, Zoe, who distributes the ball, who plays defense, who makes sure... Whoa! Uh, who makes... Oh, I thought it was just my side. Uh, I wouldn't say that. Uh, l l let's talk about it for real. L let's attack it from the points of having a real conversation of why. Uh, versus just uh, talking about everything that's wrong with it. Uh, and, and let me speak. Uh, Melo, he's he's the best or going to be the best and already is the best because he has the ability to do both of those things. He can distribute the ball, facilitate. Uh, his defense is getting better. And he also has the ability to score with high volume. That's why he is the best. I, I always say it like this. The, the, their skills are already set in the numbers. Uh, I knew this bullshit was going to happen. Their skill set is already put in their numbers. Literally, the jersey numbers already let you know exactly what their skill level is within the uh, family unit. To perfection. So, uh, Jello this year, I wouldn't even say he looks out of shape. Uh, it's just more so because he's played at that weight a lot of of a lot of his life. Oh. I know Mother's voice better than anyone. It was her. She is gone, boy. Speak no more of this. <laughs> yeah, shut your ass up. <laughs> um, what's up? I know I'm going to get jumped soon. But, because, uh, yeah, he's played at that weight a lot of his life. And he's been in shape. And he can be in shape at that weight. The difference would be his shot is off. No one cares about the shape he's in when you're not making no jumpers. He can play at that weight. For sure he can. That's not a problem. The problem is his jump shot. That's the biggest issue. No one gives a fuck about Jello's weight. We care about if he's making shots or if he's not making shots, and if he's being active or if he's not if he's not being active. If he was someone who was super slow, who just had no ability, and he's not even as big as he's been. Let's say this: he's smaller than he's still smaller than what he was in high school. What is this? That's a lot of shit that they just don't explain. I'm trying to. Oh, what's this? Niggas gotta help me out sometimes. Um, he's at a point now in his career where he shows that he can play at a high pace. A little bit, a little bit. Like I don't think he's six four and a half, you know, like people was trying to make him out to be. But he's definitely uh a bit taller than what he once was. And What just happened? And why? Hold on, give me a second here. I need that. Um, the ultimate part of Jello's game 
will never be based in his shape, right? It'll always ba be based in the level of shots and the percentage that he can shoot it. And he's not shoot. Yeah, I'm at PS5 right now. Oh, how you know? <laughs> I need to figure out what kind of intuition you got. Let me see if I can line this up real quick. This should be taking focus. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I did make that. Hold on. It's time to go to war real quick. Look at that fucking accuracy. <laughs> Nigga? You wanna kidnap my son? Now I'm finna kidnap your soul, bitch. <laughs> Where'd they go? Oh. Sit your ass in the back of the class. These niggas don't know what a Spartan is. You from, uh, what is it called? The, the Thor universe shit? Hold on. I'm in focus mode. This man knocking whole buildings now. Give me your guts, nigga. He better fly off. He learned real quick. The other ones wasn't learning. He learned. That ain't shit you could do with me, boy. Good night. Yeah, I do have PS5. No, this is um the God of War that came out on PS4. I'm trying to get into this one before I get to the new one. That's why I start playing it. Just get it out the way. Um, well, I'm going to say get it out the way. This is a hidden part of lore in my mind that I, I don't know about. So I'm learning about him heading into a... I forgot what it's called. Norse? Norse mythology. You know what I'm saying? I played the ones where he... Um, I don't know what the other one is called right now. Too bad the witch's bowstring doesn't work anymore. Yeah, uh, I don't understand his part and why he's here. So I'm learning it right now. And I will play the newest one uh, soon. As soon as I finish this, uh, I'll look forward to getting the new one. And then we could play that one on stream. But yeah, back on Jello. Uh, his shape, of course, is not ideal. He was a bit smaller. He was a bit more. He was less boxy. Right now, he is built like a bull. But I don't see that as a detriment to him and his overall play style. What I see as a detriment is what's going on with your shot. I want to talk about that. I want to talk to Jello like, what's up with your shot? You know, on some off basketball shit, just trying to understand like, uh, like is his mental okay like where, where you at with it if you ain't making no shots what are you doing and that's my biggest problem with leangelo ball if you're not making jump shots what are you, where if you're not making jump shots jello what are you doing i see him get a little a couple box out here and there he get a couple box outs oh I can't do nothing with that one. Yeah, but you you get a couple box out. Uh, you might get a board. Uh, but you're not even touching the ball. So when you're on the court, you don't provide anything. You know what I'm saying? Unless somebody decides to kick the ball to you wide open in the corner. Now that's the problem we need to be talking about. Fuck all the weight and all that other shit. We need to talk about his contributions to the game of basketball. If you the nigga you say you are, and then... Sure the okay? I'd hate to think she died helping us. She knew what she was doing. Okay. Yeah, uh, if, if you the nigga you say you are, the nigga we believe you are, right? What are you contributing to the game of basketball outside of scoring? That's one thing that Melo, and that's one thing that Zoe do. They contribute 
to the game of basketball outside of scoring. Jello ain't just a scorer, but the right now he's operating as he's as if he's just a scorer, and I don't like that. He's too good to be playing like that. What the fuck are you doing on the court? You were giving them no reason to put you on the floor. No reason at all. Ugh, more of it. If we cut enough away, the bridge above us should reappear. Right. Expect resistance. Right. Okay. And we already know I, I believe heavily in Jello skills. But, my brother, if you ain't doing shit outside of scoring, you are of no use to this basketball team. And they're a low-tier basketball team. If they ain't using you properly, how do you expect to be used properly? Think about that. If a low-tier basketball team isn't using you for what you're good at, What's what is that saying? And that's a conversation I want to have and an energy I want to push. I don't care about him being out of shape or anything like that. Jello can play with it whatever way he wants to play. Uh, he, he's he's very strong. He's very fast. Uh, high IQ. All that shit makes up for the lack of him being in shape or to a, a perfect shape. But the biggest issue for me is what he's not doing on the court and that is showing value outside of putting the basketball in the hoop and everybody on that team thinks they can do that and the, clearly the coaches do too and that's a problem because I don't think they can score better than Jello I think Jello will drop every last one of them niggas off that's my opinion I think Jello can score better than most people in the NBA I think Jello can be a 25 30 point per game scorer guy I believe that and I thought that before someone like LeVar Ball said it LeVar Ball don't make my thoughts I just agree with it because I see the same thing take your ass to sleep nigga who is this somebody sniping set you down who else No, we needed his loot. Damn, son. What? Oh, uh, right there. Now you can have all that. I'm taking more damage than you taking. Whoa, what's this thing, a flash grenade? Oh, never mind. There we go. Whoa, whoa. I took it for granted. I tried to be cool and cute. You know what I'm saying? That's what's happening to Jello right now, being cool and cute, right? Pause. Yeah, that's over for you. No, I need the loot.
Oh, uh, I forgot about him. Why is it so dark? What happened? Snatched him from out the air. I'm on you now. Oh, yeah, I gotta run. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't know I could hide behind this rock. That's pretty clutch. Goodbye. over for you. He finna die. Let me get my health back. Uh, that was tough. What's this? Fragmented heart of Alfheim. Alfheim. My fault. Reduces all damage from dark elves. Attacks by 12%. Uh, we don't really care about dark elves. Them niggas is light work at best. Watch our backs, boy. Them niggas is not a problem. Light running attack. A rapidly spinning melee attack that clears out surrounding enemies and deals significant damage. Now that's something I can get behind. Let me check that out. That shit look trash from here, but I'll try it off. I'd be sorry for all the ambiance you hear, the dogs and I see some there. sounds and shit. I ain't gonna front. He give the worst advice. See the way up. feel as if I don't know how to get down there I don't know if there's some sort of Mexican holiday going on the light makes more than bridges maybe this will spit us out on top let me go back this way real quick if I if I do this for nothing when I cut these up in the videos um 
Oh, it doesn't even extend here yet. Um, if I cut these up in the videos, I will be cutting out a lot of the unnecessary traveling. We'll be getting straight to a lot of the points that really matter. Or if I have conversation uh, or good talking points in between, then I'll keep those in. Should look nice. I might have to bleep a lot of my cursing out too. I might have to figure out what, uh, like, sound effect I can add over curse words, or at least some of them that I know are anti-monetization. And uh, I appreciate Slat, and I appreciate DNA for showing up. You know, you guys are helping to watch time. I understand that it's helping. Eventually, I do want to turn to turn this into something uh, monetary. So, you know, I will never get used to walking on solid light. The door, there's no seam. What? We have a problem. Find another way into the temple. Do not open. Hello? I don't get it. I even have a door. There. Hello? Come, we will find another way in. Go this way first. The dwarf again. Sindri? Hey, Sindri. We found something interesting. Oh, really? I love something interesting. Oh, shot. Whoa! You killed an ancient? Yes. Was it difficult? Yes. Is that all you're gonna give me? Yes. <laughs> Labor complete new recipes and lot. I'm feeling creative today. Ancient's heart. Wow. I don't have yeah, enough resources to craft that. Oh, I'll keep the healing one for now. I just need to level it up a little bit. Actually, cost mad bread. Oh, yeah, I need one of these, too. This way. Right, let me check over here. They're both clearly important ways to go. More of those bells. A Nornir chest must be nearby. Yes. Yeah! 
Of course. Oh wow, look at this. The level of precision they make you have to work with sometimes. Alright, that's in. Alright. So I can get that one last. So N is out here. R is right here. Oh, okay. Furthest one first. Hold on. Oh my goodness, I missed. Wow. Oh man, am I trash? Come on. Ah. Need one more. Everybody, you can take something from. Hey, how did Sindri get ahead of us? He and the blue one do seem to travel quickly. Huh. We're inside. Of course. Our smite is doing some drill rap. Who was that? Actually, elite sometimes. Genuinely elite. Damn. Oh, you in the corner now. Maybe I'm in a corner now. It's over for you. Good night, nigga. That's trash. I'm going to take that off. I ain't finna die like this. Goodness, you see the gore? I right, for sure appreciate you for showing up. Look, oh my goodness! Do you 
you ever get used to this? Yes. I'm the God of War. You don't know that, though. Oh my goodness, look at the the skill. You can't blind me. Wow. I'm I'm low key shot by myself. so satisfying it just tickles all the monstrous sides of man that you are I hear a juicy shit somewhere what does it say Darkness keeps safe the light. Didn't do a very good job, did they? Bring on cap for dudes with braids. That should be like making me think I got an ant on me sometimes, or like some random shit, like a, a bug. Can't you look directly up? That's what's mirroring over here, so. Ah. Something. She wasn't mirroring it, but it did help. But I need that chest. I don't know how to get into it, though. Why do I feel like I'm going through the game just missing something half the time?
So there's a third one somewhere. But where? One, two. Oh, three. Assuming that that's to right back out here. Yeah. Common waste armor. Oh, that's poop. Well, this should be something to sell. Yes, we're going to defend ourselves. We got some fly for dinner. over for you. Oh man, his juice is splattered over the edge. Look for a way inside. Thing I could do with it at least. Prepare yourself. I like that it has like some level of like homing and a good hitbox. That's the best part about this. Than I you didn't do anything. 
Everything's easy for you. Whoa, summonings? I can't do that attack anymore. They just fly away. Also restoring all the pathways to ass whoopings for the light elves. That's just really happening. Well, never mind. They can fly. Ain't no way I'm supposed to hit all these. No, the, the sun is right. Sun is a hundred percent. Whoa, didn't even see that. Sun is a hundred percent right here. We might take the baby's advice. He's not wrong. I don't think you're gonna get it. We should go. I will get it. Now can we go? I require silence. Guess what? Betray us to me. Gonna Google this. Just like red bread, baby. I ain't had to Google nothing in this game yet. But today it starts. I mean, it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, or let's say eight. What are these called, though? I'm going to my, uh, my codex.
Okay, it's not in the codex. Oh, bro, I didn't even put this shit in here. Level one. I never leveled this shit up. My bad. I'm definitely Googling though. There we go. Found my video. We gonna get right to it like red bread. Oh, so you can do them in sections. This looks interesting. Where are you? Yeah. Okay. Now that's a lot better. Okay, these come back. Gotta keep pressing play. At least I know I can get rid of that one. There we go. One, two, three. Yeah. See? 
like Rad Brad said, sometimes you gotta Google things. Definitely a dry snatcher, but it's okay, you're just a baby. Did you hear that? Stay alert and by my side. Hey, when we make it to the light, how do you think we get it into the Bifrost? The witch said to step into it. She did? When she was ripped away from this realm. Oh, how did I miss that? You were more concerned with her safety than our goal. Oh no. Quiet. I have him. Your knife point. Damn. Woke up from your slumber to be slumbered for life. I actually do. You start to stray away. Broke you through the flow. The light. Yes, we are near our goal. But we must be careful. Understand? God. I can't tell if they're more like bees or flies. It might be a cross between both. They're not very elfish. They knew I would attack, so you can't throw it in here. Well, listen to these airplanes, man. This is what I have to deal with. You know, why don't you make videos? This is all hours of the day. Helicopters, airplanes, dogs. Spartan Rage. Oh, they're kind of easy to kill up here. They must be newborns. Goodness. I'm way too focused right now. Oh my goodness. What a counter attack. Yeah. 
I forget. I be forgetting to have a shield. Real spit. This needs to be like tons of XP, come on. Say unpause the game. I don't need auto aim. I'm saying Grand Theft Auto. Yes, it's on balance experience. Not extremely hard. Not extremely easy either. So much better. Am I just supposed to keep fighting through them? Is that what I'm doing wrong? Just like standing back? Dynasty Warriors right now. Yeah, I think it was just way too many coming for me to just stand back. The time between your volleys. There are many targets you will not miss. Oh my goodness. Clearly Goku of this world.
stay here. But I want to Stay go. here. Only use it as a last resort. You're giving me your axe? I'm letting you hold my axe. It is not a gift. Still. We need that money back. You have to come back. You left me here alone. Atreus? Alone with him. He always leaves. He's never here. He doesn't want me, he never will. I don't know him and he doesn't know me. Doesn't seem to want to. I'm strong, I'm smart. I'm not what he thinks I am. I know better. doesn't talk to me, doesn't teach me. It should have been him. Do you hear me? Him, not you. Except, I don't mean that. You know I love him. I just wish he was better. I know he can. So if he tries, I'll try. But if he doesn't, please come back. I know you're out there somewhere. You basically just snitched on him, you know what I'm saying? to make a bridge. We're trapped. And the witch's bowstring is useless. Wow. Put in work just like I taught him, for real. I want to go back. I need that good for my wife again before I have to convert to my next. Boy, your bow. Hold it out.
On my mark, loose your arrow into the stone. It worked. We can now make our way back. Come. crystal head just laying there maybe it'll help us get out of this stupid place Yeah, definitely gotta put it here first. Prioritize loot over our existence. When I upload this as a video, and everybody can hear all the airplanes that fly by relentlessly, they'll know I'm not lying. Not that I need the validation, but just so you understand, it is quite annoying. Helicopters and airplanes all day, baby. If I was in a slight different area in South Central, it would be a little different. Unfortunately, it is not. Oh my god, jump scare. Knock that nigga on this noggin. Perfect angle, son. Oh, so this 
has to stay here. Wait, no, it doesn't. I'm taking this with me. This is mine. Oh, I can't take it. That sucks, doesn't it? Can I just leave? I'm not trying to fight. XP to upgrade light arrow skills. Status effects. Like what? Wish they had like a higher in depth. Click more stun damage. I really need it. Genuinely not understanding why there's helicopters, helicopters and airplanes today. This is quite ridiculous. And this would be like a regular day when I'm trying to record videos and put something out. And it's just this all day. Kills the vibe and it kills the quality. And then I wait for specific moments where I do record a line properly in. It's just difficult when you're putting out a 10 minute video. But I'm not going to keep complaining about it. I'm going to get it done. Same way I'm getting this live stream done. This is block two. Una This language is interesting. Wide arching attack. Hmm. This one ain't bad for when you get an attack like that, but this might be able to. That's charging star. Let me see. I'll try this one out for a little bit. While cooldown is active.
Where are you taking that? Right here. He's still pissed I was in there. I'm not even doing a bad job fathering. I'm not your mother. Strangely, he thinks I'm his mother. I'm not going to be soft with you. Streaming for the hour twenty, I'll probably go for two. Yes. Oh, look. The blue door that's not a door. And a sand bowl. How do you expect me to reach it? Common sense be protruding sometimes, just seeping out. That shit's shaking the whole house right now, bro. That that's what I'm talking about. somewhere
there another one? Fuck is happening? Like, come on, man. I'm sorry. It's just like that's ridiculous. I have to listen to this all day, every day. Oh, I didn't even. Wow, when did that get there? mean see remember the shape yeah I know cut this up definitely to make me uh seem as if I got it all quickly right yes oh Maybe instead uh, of looting a sacred temple, we could just get out of here. If I want your opinion, boy, I will ask for it. Real shit. Quiet, my nigga. Or. Uh, see. 
see. Let me find the end. I'm gonna do this one first. Uh, I hate though having to walk. Let me see how much time I have. So I got about eight seconds. I'm taking my rock with me. Time in this area. Time to go. Whatever. Let's go with you, Rap God. Great. The one with the horns is back. What does he want now? I hate that guy. He will be back. Are you able to see some of the comments in chat? We really gotta go back down here again? Do you see any other way? No. Then? If not, it's fine. Some other enemies are no longer there. Light. 
There isn't a way back up from here, you know. I know. I cut it off, so let me go to YouTube and I uh, read that real quick. I think he's good enough. The problem is, my biggest concern is, uh, to be honest, I don't have a favorite. I just root for them in different ways because, like I say this, I wasn't supporting Melo in the way that I should have and could have because Melo already is, like Melo is the prototype of greatness. He is prototypical greatness. All right, let me let that airplane pass because that—that's. Look, when people will be like, "Oh, well, you know, why haven't you uploaded?" Do you hear what's happening? I have to deal with this every day of existence when I'm thinking about content creating. I've said that like eight times in this video. Relentless helicopters for what reason during the daytime, and four thousand airplanes in a day. Dogs barking music plan but uh yeah I don't have a favorite I just root for them uh in ways that I feel is necessary like right now oh my god Got car slipping. I'll answer that in a second. You're my son, buddy. If you would hold the light up so I could see where I'm shooting. Use your ears. Adapt. Mm. Alright, but yeah. Um not a favorite per se, just more so. Um again, mellow. There's a room just over there. Boy. Hey, he been a little snappy since I was in there finding my wife. Might have to whoop this nigga's ass. But, um, yeah, so, uh, when it comes to someone like, let's say, uh, cause I keep cutting my mellow point off, I'll go to Jello. Jello is the underdog. Jello is the one that doesn't have the cute game. He doesn't have the flashiness. He doesn't have the ball handling. And he can ball handle, but he doesn't have that as his trademark and his repertoire for him to be valued the same way the other two, uh, do. And that's very important when you're not six eight, six nine. You have to be able to ball handle. And if you're not gonna ball handle, you have to shoot at the high clip. And the thing is, he's getting a bad rap. Because he still shoots at a higher above average clip. You know what I'm saying? Jello isn't out here shooting like most niggas to where they're shooting 33, 34%. And he probably is at this moment. But what I'm saying is that that's not his ceiling. Most niggas ceiling is about 35 maybe 36 percent jello ceiling for three-point shooting is in the 40s but right now he's at a, he's at a floor right now uh let, let's you know i like clay thompson clay thompson shooting about 35 percent right now and clay thompson we know that's not the ceiling for him that's the floor and i see jello right now at the floor of his shooting and people are on his head right now but when it comes to jello right i see it as if what are you providing to the team outside of shooting when you're not shooting well that's what makes the great players great 
That's what makes Melo. That's what makes Zoe great. When they're not shooting well, what do you provide? Melo's going to be very aggressive on the defensive end if he's not shooting well. He said it many times. If you hold me to zero points, I'm going to hold you zero points. Hold you to zero points. Like, I'm finna lock you up if I ain't scoring. Zoe does the same thing. If Zoe is not scoring at a high proficiency, he's playing defense to maximum ability. The thing is, the only real difference is they're on the floor, right? Jello's not on the floor, but it's because he's not distributing these uh, these talents into his abilities and what he's showcasing. And he's not getting a chance and getting burned to showcase it, considering the fact that when we see you play, uh, it, what, what they were saying corner store Zoe, he's corner store Jello right now. And Jello, not that kind of guy. And I don't like that. Jello, too damn good to just be corner sitting. But he is. So I have to take it for what it is and address what it is and say what he needs to do to get out of that shit. That's how he's going to get more burn. Start doing more on the court. Get some of these steals. Do do the things that you know you're great at. And he's not right now. And uh, again, uh, the reason I don't have a favorite is Melo is already doing everything we think Melo could do. Only thing he has to do is become more efficient. Melo is already... The Luca, Melo is already the Ja. He's already the Trey. He's already the next superstar to take over the league. He is that guy. Zoe, I root for Zoe because Zoe has the ability to be one of those guys, but he's had a lot of bad raps on the path to becoming that guy. You know what I'm saying? He's been injured a lot. Luke Walton was fucking him over to begin with. Pelicans were an awful team. Ass down. It's already on the way to being that. Even when he was shooting his worst, he was still shooting better than a lot of people. Which I never understood why they kept saying how bad he was. It didn't make sense to me. But Zoe, I root for Zoe because Zoe's been hurt. He's been literally hurt every year of his career. And the guy that we once seen him as becoming, uh, they they took that away from him. We've been robbed of that. Luke Walden robbed of uh, robbed us of it to begin with, and then uh, people talked so much shit about him and got in his head so much he changed his jumper. I loved the slingshot. I was a fan of the slingshot. Niggas will never make me not be a fan of that jumper. I thought it was nice, and they made him change the slingshot. And he changed the slingshot to a jumper that I would say is the same level of consistency. Only thing that changed is his confidence. That's the only real thing that changed. Confidence. If you've been stroking with that jumper for years, shooting a high clip, the jumper wasn't a problem. It was the mentality. But if he felt like he had to fix the jumper to be more repeatable mechanics, then I respect that. That's what he felt he needed to do. It is what it is. But I root for him from, from that aspect of him being an underdog and the aspect of being hurt, not being a primary scorer, and not having the shine and the ability to showcase. You know what I'm saying? Mellow, it's, it's too easy to root for him. All these niggas is on Mellow bandwagon. Yeah, you're, real, you're a real big brain for obviously rooting for the the most talented ball brother you know what i'm saying that that doesn't take a rocket science a, ro a rocket scientist to know that Melo is the most talented and the number one overall in skill and ability between them and that's what i ate you know what i'm saying i hate when niggas talking about Melo, and they act like like they really out here inventing the will when they talking about his greatness. We all knew he was already going to be the best one. You know what I'm saying? He had the best handle. He had the, the cleanest finishes at the rim. He had range. He had the swagger. He was clearly going to be the tallest. And he already had the most in his bag. His duff, he was already the fullest from even being a young one. When you watch Lonzo Young, the only thing you'll see Lonzo do more is score. When you watch Jello Young... He probably played a little more defense and scored a little less 
Jello hasn't had much development in other areas. But when you watch Mello, he already had a full Duffy to work with. Nigga, shut your ass up. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Realistically, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out currently. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's already... Yeah, to cut that shit down, huh? Damn. Turned them into some fucking firewood. Turned you into charcoal. But yeah, niggas really be on some big brain shit when it comes to Mellow. It's like, if he wasn't obviously the best one to you nearly 10 years ago, then like what do you, you like you're not inventing something new with that you know what i'm saying like we everybody knew that everybody in their mama knew Melo was going to be the most talented that's why i don't necessarily root for Melo in the ways that i move root for uh jello and zo because we already knew like where he is now is exactly where we thought he would be and where he should sure be he's so damn I want you to be lagging behind when you get attacked. remain alert and quiet yeah this nigga's still on petty shit this nigga petty as fuck, but um, Melo is so damn good that he's beating the odds of playing for the Charlotte Hornets organization. You know how great you have to be to defy the odds. Think about this real quick. Let me hold on. Give me a second here, Rap God. Give me a second here. I need to Google this. I, I'm gonna look over. They pass ten first round picks. I'm gonna look over their past 10 first round picks. We're gonna start from 2012. I didn't have a first round pick. All right, Cody Zeller in 2013. We know how his career turned out, right? Average as fuck. Noah Vonley. Hmm? Hmm? That's and I don't know. Let me actually be a bit more honest with my journalism. First round, fourth pick, Cody Zeller. Washed. First round, ninth pick, Noah Vonley. Washed. First round, twenty four pick, Shabazz Napier. Washed. We even we we'll even say Dwight Powell. No, he got traded to Cleveland. Fuck Dwight Powell. He was alright though, but 2015, Frank Kaminsky, basically uh, Cody Zeller point two. An another nigga that they thought was really going to be a nigga, he's worthless. First round, ninth pick, Frank Kaminsky, 2015. 2016, Malachi Richardson. Oh, he got traded to Sacramento. All right, we'll go with Malik Monk. 2017, first round pick, 11th pick, washed. 2018. Oh, they traded shy. Okay. PJ Washington, 2019. First round pick, 12th overall. Just now becoming something okay. Slightly. And that's like slightly. You know what I'm saying? 2020, LaMelo Ball. Out of the entire list of niggas I named, which is about four or five, six of them, because we didn't even get to the years slightly before that, you know, we didn't even get to a Michael Kidd, Gilchrist, and, you know, um, Kimba Walker, and uh, what's that nigga name? Um, DJ Augustine. Like, we didn't even get to those guys. We don't have to go to them. 
But as far as their their current regime, every first round pick, James Booknight, Mark Williams, every first round pick they've had has succumbed to the shittiness the shittiness of a Charlotte organization. All of them except Lamelo Ball. This nigga's already an all star. Already showing how great he is for an organization that doesn't seem to understand that he's the only reason they are a conversation to have. That's why I don't need to jump on the bandwagon when this is like we we know Melo was the savior. If you didn't know Melo was a savior, Do you, my nigga? You aim way off. All right. So yes, when I seen Lonzo go down year one, I knew Melo was the savior. When I seen Lonzo go down year two, I knew Melo was the savior. When I seen Jello go undrafted, I knew Melo was a savior. When I seen Lonzo injury three, four, and five, I knew Melo was a savior. When I seen Jello get ankle surgery, I knew Melo was a savior. That's not a big brain take. We should know that. Finally. That's the mellow down ball. That us down the first time. You know what I'm saying? Get out of here. It's the mellow down ball. Le France Ball. He been that guy. From the beginning. He the only one you can really see working. They have footage of him working out. He's the only footage that's been shared of them working out when they were young. I don't see the other two's young footage of them working out being shared to the public. I see Melo doing the dribbling cone drills. I see Melo doing the pull up and the floaters as a baby. We knew this already. It's not big brain for niggas to be, oh, Melo. Melo this, Melo. No, Melo has been that nigga. He's been him. Melo's the real reason that Jello was gifted the fucking. Come, all right, let me not go there. B E F Y. I'm going there. Mellow's the real reason that Jello was accepted into UCLA. The real reason all was taken because number three was so damn good. And who's really number one? Alright, I just had to get an understanding of what's going on. Right, I'm gonna read what you say. So Zoe's always, always, always been a great scorer, Chino, UCLA, and NBA. Yes, yeah, Zoe can score at ease. He just doesn't. That's my problem with him. You never believe the narratives about Zoe being injury prone? No, uh, injury prone is a mental thing unless you just have a wild play style. And their wild play style isn't wild because that's who they actually are. For example. Give me a second. There used to be a point in time where cars going a certain speed would start to fall apart. You hear all this rattling, engines falling apart. Now cars can handle a high speed effortlessly. Zoe is a car that can handle high speed effortlessly. He's not somebody that gets to a top speed and starts to fall apart and can't sustain. Like if I put Zoe on a treadmill going 19 miles per hour, Zoe could sustain that speed longer than an average NBA player. That's just the speed he plays at, naturally. You know what I'm saying? It's not a situation where he has to... And 19 might probably is crazy, but still, uh, 
he's not a guy that his play style doesn't fit that speed. That's who he is. So him being injury prone isn't a product of play style. It's a product of mentality. It's a product of not being utilized properly. It's a product of, okay, we're going to need you to play super hard for about four minutes. And we're going to sit you down and bring you back in with two minutes left. Uh, that, that shit really does fuck you. But let me finish this puzzle real quick. B E F Y. Okay, B F E Y. Oh, my goodness. Let me see how easy these are to get. Oh, what the hell? Complete accident. But that's what big brains do. Create genius shit. Not even intentionally. That's trash. Why are they making me work hard for trash? I wish you could run with this. Like, it's a crystal. This man can lift buildings. second here. Uh, that's a big crystal. that Dex. I said a lot of my good talking points already though. I've exhausted them. I'm probably gonna stream for a little bit longer anyway. Let me see it's what it's been two hours. I'll probably go for about an extra fifteen and get up off here. Get some food and uh you know at flight live we'll go from there. But 
I address some pretty important things when I cut these into a video. So it should be pretty interesting. For, for people like you that are a bit busy, I'll cut these into videos and leave a lot of the good talking points in. Yeah, I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm still contemplating it like literally the reason I brought that up was it was a conversation about where all this shit come from it was a conversation about two weeks ago I was like oh Cheesecake Factory is like for real you know I thought it was just a dessert place but I'm um bro it's just nothing but airplanes relentless I might check it out sometime soon. Um, not go too hard on it. You know, I'm lactose. Nigga not trying to have a, a long day just because I wanted to enjoy some cheesecake, you know. So, uh, I'll probably look at the menu. And I, I did want to clarify that, Jessica. Remember when uh, I said, I said, nah, she going to take me to cheesecake. And she's like, really, Nico? I'm like, in my mind... I don't think she quite understand that for me I, I'm somebody that I don't really have to go places you know what I'm saying women like to do things like that of course I do like to have experiences here and there sure but it's not mandatory for me so if you want to have an experience of somewhere that you gonna take me you know I'm cool just cooking and chilling and doing what we know niggas do I'm cool with that. But if you're not cool with that, then you go ahead and provide your value and the experiences that you'd like to provide. That was clarification to her feelings. N. So the N is there, but where's the C and the R? So I'm looking for right now. already did this but I'm just making sure because a lot changed I actually don't remember this shit looking like this at all all this growth came out of nowhere the exact same thing I was just doing nothing different oh yeah the L4 was actually pretty intense though these niggas killed each other dark elves and light elves I think it yeah I see it in there but I don't know how to get up there. I might have to Google this. I ain't opposed Googling shit. Uh, by underrated, what do you mean? Okay, I see R. 
Okay. Tricky. Very tricky. Yes, this is actually very fucking tricky. Uh, is a lyricist and an MC. Uh, and a battle rapper. Huh. I'll say this. I liked Tupac growing up. Not to say I don't like him now. But I just think that there's been so much of a melodic change in music to where that's what makes a music of the past get a bit overshadowed. Because, you know, let, let's keep it real. Music of, let's say, the 90s and even a bit of the 80s was very monotone. It was very cool. Niggas with big ass sweatsuits and fat hats and shit. Rapping about being, yeah, ooh, you know, shit like that. Went from that to Tupac revolutionizing things and adding a bit more melody to niggas really singing over almost everything they do. And it's more pleasing to the ears. And I don't think that he's really underrated. It's just that we have so many talented people. Like, for example, I'm trying to think of a sports reference. For someone who is, all right, we'll, we'll use quarterback. You know, before the Tom Brady's and Patrick Mahomes and Drew Brees, uh, Peyton Manning's, Philip Rivers, Big Ben's, etc. Before them, you you know for a fact niggas was on damn damn Marino cock, right? You know that, right? Talking about damn Marino being potentially the goat. Potentially the goat. Dan Marino was literally considered potentially the GOAT. Joe Montana, Steve Young. But once niggas start hitting his career marks. Let me see. You know what? Let me see, son. Where are you? What the hell? My fault. I, I'm 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 using a lot of brain power here. Uh, from right here on my on my um. It's something from the Bifrost that I infuse with Elven Light, which is basically a, the little light sources you see in here. Uh, it was a little movie part that happened within this playthrough. I wouldn't tell you to go back for it, though. It's a pretty long video. Just watch it when it comes out, you know what I'm saying? When I eventually drop it as a video, you know, get you a lot of God of War lore. Oh, he can't destroy it? Only I can? Oh my goodness. But yeah, to finish the Tupac point, it's just that so many people have come in with talent, and I'm going to use Drake as a clear example, because before, you know, the GOAT, we was just talking about some rapidy raps. They had Jay-Z, they had Tupac, they had Biggie, and whoever else, right? Drake has come in. Yeah, all right, I appreciate you, Rap God, though, and appreciate you, Dex. As um, soon as I figure out this riddle, I'm going to be off here. But, uh, yeah, I think that, you know, we looking at a, a, a new GOAT battle and a nigga like Drake, you go through all his hits. It's like some shit that even now you go to the old music, it sounds so good. And then you come to music nowadays and you still can rock with it. That's like unchallengeable. And that's why people take a lot of the, the old GOATs for granted. You know, even when I had the My Michael Jordan conversation, right? All these niggas was praising him for was running and jumping high and shooting mid-range fadeaways. Everybody does that shit now, minus the mid-range fadeaways. 
and that's why I always put Kobe above him because Kobe brought the same exact game with more added to it so no disrespect I just think that it's part of human evolution but we should still appreciate the, the people of past uh, but we also have to acknowledge where evolution has taken us also and be okay with that and promote it oh okay give me that look I ain't the smartest nigga in the world but you give me some time I'll figure some things out I just want us to understand that I am not the most intelligent just give me a little bit of time though and now I gotta find the sea and I don't know where the sea is like how they that splat kind of look like me but I, I like how this game adds their own spin on the lore but also keeping it to a level of truth that's what I love about this game that's why I'm playing it and enjoy it because they're giving you lore and they're also giving you their take on it putting Kratos in the lore and now they put a Spartan warrior from an entirely different dimension into Norse mythology and it's clashing and that's why I'm playing it so I can get through the next game uh, sooner than later and uh, have a pretty interesting walkthrough for that too. Hey, I'm finna just Google this though. Like, come on. I don't have to like struggle. I'm just trying to use like my brain power without having it be augmented by uh, available information online. Yes. Okay, so. Let's see this real quick. Alright. Yeah, maybe I could see something from a different vantage point. Let's see. Because the light... That shit helping, but not really. Oh, whoa, the whole time. I know that was pathetic. I apologize. But in the video to be cut out so no one will know how long I took. Oh my goodness, where'd he come from? I think he was gonna get caught, huh? Right, 
Rush in again. piece combo in there <coughs> whoa he's doing a little too much damage I'm on your ass Where the hell is it? It was somewhere over here. We need that. Wow, he keeps hitting me with that darkness shit. That shit cheap. I'm gonna have to use Spartan Rage. Look, he keeps trying to set me up for them darkness traps. That is so corny, bro. go I'm on that whoa whoa thank you son It's over for you. They're unblockable, of course. Whoa! Yeah, that's so corny. I'll probably save the Spartan shit till the end. Because if he's just going to keep spamming me with that attack, making me not able to see and charging in with an unblockable that's corny that's like a that's like a actual player tactic that's what an actual player would do be so corny that you can't do anything but get your ass whooped all right make sure i unlock that all right we cool all right start time to start that battle again He's gonna come out of nowhere. Literally, he's nowhere. Watch. Spawn. Stop dodging, you're an AI. Whoa, he literally dodging my most important attack. I'm stuck on the bowl, I knew something was wrong.
Yeah. Yeah, look at this cheap shit. And the baby don't do no damage. Yeah, I gotta start using that more. I'm on that. I'm on that. It's over for you now. Stop all that running shit, bro. Stop all that running shit, bro. Cream trucks disturbing the stream quality. Oh my god! It's over for you. smug and say you told me we shouldn't get involved that is enough can we go now you see how the son think he know that's when you as a father have to cut them short because he might be right but at the end of the day you have to allow him to stay in a child's place because when he think he going through life knowing everything he gonna find out he knows nothing summons a spectral wolf that Pounces on enemies three times. Hmm. So I guess as I go into the next area, I'll um, I'll probably end stream <clears throat> going into the next area. My next thing is I need to figure out how to get here. <clears throat> 
Yeah, this one I'm not going to struggle with. I'm just going to Google it. Twenty three minute videos, crazy. Seems a lot smarter than before. <clears throat> it wasn't making sense to me at first. Heavy running attack. That's the same as the one I already have on, but as long as I'm unlocking them, that's all that matters. To me, so you need to. Do you want to tell me something? I said the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here, if your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. Atreus, forget it. Fine. <laughs> Get off your chest, little nigga. Because I don't care. If I leave, you die. All right, I'm in to here. We back to the top now. Put in mad work. Two hours and thirty minutes. Appreciate you guys for showing up. Rap God, Dex, Slat, um, DNA. You know, helping me out with my watch time. You know, and uh, and, and showing some love. I'm out, man. Peace. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>